What's going on YouTube, Gios right here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to manage your iPhone, your iOS device, your iPad and stuff like that using a tool called AnyTrans, which allows you to do all of that. And of course, it provides a lot of tools that are needed for backing up your device, extracting photos, copying photos from the computer to the device and stuff like that. AnyTrans is an iPhone content manager, which allows you to easily manage the iOS content without problems and without iTunes and stuff like that. So how does it work? It's available for both Windows and Mac OS and it's available here on iMobi.com. The link will be in the description down below and some of the things that it can do is to transfer photos, music, text and stuff like that. In fact, here on the AnyTrans page they say it supports iOS 14 as well. There is a free trial available as well and there's multiple things it can do. It's basically completely zero tech knowledge so you don't need any computer experience at all. If you can run an application that's enough. So this is how the application looks like. It's pretty cool, pretty neat. Don't let yourself get scared by the fact that there are many buttons and text in here. It's actually pretty easy to use. It says in here pretty easily, please connect your iPhone, iPad or iPod. And yes, it does support that. In fact, it supports any iOS device running iOS 5 or later. So it has a huge support range. I can't imagine somebody today running iOS 5. Anyways, I'm going to connect my iPod, which is an iPod Touch 7 generation, the latest iPod available. And I'm going to connect it to the computer using the power cable. Now, in a couple of seconds the program will detect it and after that you can see it says connecting please wait a moment now that's basically it it says in here geos knows ipod and it's running ios 13.3 it says in here that i have occupied 10.4 gigs out of 32 and in here you can basically drag and drop anything you want to the phone this is actually quite cool so i have a couple of sample files in here and if i want for example this photo to be completely transferred over to the phone without having to synchronize itunes and create a backup and stuff like that all i have to do is to drag it and drop it on the phone and it will show up in here please select the apps to receive the files and it will be sent into photos we're going to press next and that's it the transfer started and we're greeted with this windmill in here and that's it it says transfer completed that's basically it it's as simple as dragging and dropping now you can actually copy anything from the phone in fact, if you press more in here, you can see all the photos that I have on the phone, including the one that I just transferred, it's already in there. And of course, we can see the albums, we can see the hidden photos, the photos from any trance, which are those in here, the videos that I have, for example, home video, I have a couple of them in here. And then of course, we can see the music, we can see the messages, the applications, and as you can see, I have Messenger, I have the Apple Store, I have YouTube, Instagram, I have Time Waste and OB Timestamp. These are two exploits that I no longer need. So if I don't want them anymore, I press uninstall and I press OK, and then I press uninstall and I press OK. And there we go, we uninstalled applications right from the program. You can also update them if you want. So for example, if I check this in here and press update, it's going to ask me for the password of the Apple ID that was used in order to install that application but the apple id will not be stored on any trans server it will just be sent to apple to sign the application then of course we have the safari you can get the safari bookmarks and stuff like that i have the default ones in here you can get the voice memos and i have a couple of them in here i'm not gonna play them to you because they are my voice notes but they're pretty okay so you can actually copy anything you want so i'm gonna go here and i want to copy every single photo from my phone i can either select them all or i can mark them one by one and press to Mac. So it's going to go to the computer. Do you want to change the photo export setting? Okay. And in here we get a couple of information about the photo exporting. So we can preserve the original format, export them from HEIC to JPEG or export them as PDF if we want. So I'm going to press save and it's going to start transferring. And what do you see? It's already done. And if you open the files, it says my photos in here. And there we go. Let's open this, which is my games a couple of them actually anyways yes this is basically the quickest way possible to manage your device without having to create various backups and stuff like that speaking of backups you can actually do backups right from this program you go here to backup manager you press backup and that's it and you also have the option to enable the backup encryption incremental backup which would basically only contain the new or changed files rather than going with the itunes method of creating a new backup containing the same files again and again occupying your space you can also enable air backup and you can select a time frame for it so your phone would backup automatically and the backup path i'm going to leave those unchanged and the phone will start backing up everything on the device gets backed up including the contacts messages the application data 
data, the photos and stuff like that. And it's as simple as this. No iTunes, no weird errors, no having to deal with stuff you don't need. So yeah, it's that simple. There is also a social media backup tool available, a ringtone maker, an app downloader. You can even do screen mirroring right from the tool. You can view the iTunes library and of course edit it if you want. You can do iCloud management to see exactly what you have on your iCloud account and stuff like that. And you can even use your phone as an AnyTrans drive, basically like a flash drive by using the AnyTrans app from the App Store. Here's a QR code for it. So definitely check out AnyTrans and their contest. It's a pretty good tool. I like to use it. It's quite simple to use and their contest is pretty amazing. So yeah, definitely check it out in the link below. Thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.